Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are taking these out. Um, as you can see, my hair has started to come out of quite a few of them. Um, I have had them in a little over a week because, yeah, I think we're at two weeks. And I was aiming to do more or less like three or four because that's just how I like to wear my protective styles but the way my scalp is itching and the way my hair has decided to just come out at all angles I'm over it so we're gonna take them out today <laughs> I'm just taking out this random braid that I put in. Um, I'm gonna have scissors on hand to cut out the knot if I can't untie it. Um, you don't have to cut it out because it can be a little tricky. Um, I haven't cut my hair, you know, so far. You know, knock on wood. <laughs> but you definitely want to be careful that, you know, if you are cutting the hair cutting the lock out of your hair that you don't cut your hair because the last thing you want is to end up with pretty much a bald patch because you decided to cut your hair with the lock so i'm just gonna take this out and then i'm gonna put my hair up into a bun um maybe i don't know maybe i'll just, i don't know but like, like look, the entire back row of my hair is just out. Like the lock is still there, but my hair is out of the lock. So we're done. We're just gonna go through, take them out. Um, I have a, a spray bottle here because I'll probably need it to wet my hair a little bit to get out all that old shed hair. And I also have this um, one minute hair mask by Garnier Fructis. It's the coconut extract one. Um, figured I would just use this to help detangle my hair. Um, it can be used as a, a one minute hair mask, but you can also, leave, also use it as a conditioner and a leave-in. So we're gonna use it as a conditioner. Um, of course I said I have scissors and then I have two different combs. Um, I might not need either one. I might just use my fingers to pull out all the old hair and then like as a quick follow through just go through one time with this small one. But all the sections I have are really small so this comb probably won't do me any good really. But yeah, I'm going to shut up and you guys can just watch the process. section down probably like 80 more to go yay
everything else out and detangled and your girl is tired so we just gonna run through these last little bits and be done with the, the whole shebang separate it you find the loop of the lock you kind of get your finger up in there wiggle it down some so you have a little space grab the lock and your hair feed it through and it's out Take, take these three pieces, unravel the twist braid combination thing, and then wet it, put your leave-in conditioner on it, detangle, and twist. just wash my hair in these twists and then style it from there it was already detangled but I'll probably end up taking them out so I can like get at my scalp you know but yeah everything's out now and it only took me like almost 12 hours it was closer to like 9 10 close to 10 hours to figure it out I, I, I don't understand why like I know I have a large head I get that but like shouldn't it be like significant well I guess it'd be I was gonna say shouldn't it be significantly less time to take them out than it like took to put them in but it really did take me like three days, like off and on, to finish my hair. Whereas it just took me one evening to take them out. So I guess, you know, it being 12 hours is a significantly shorter time. But whatever. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, I will see you in the next video. Be sure to comment, like, and subscribe, and see you guys in the next one.